So we dealt with this in 2008. We had this systemic risk conversation around the banking system, right? And now the question is, okay, so can the convexity we're talking about actually be a new form of systematic risk that at times we can see the entire system basically come under stress. And, and even if it's not the entire financial system, it could be a broker or it could be a, a, a large universe of retail traders. And so the distributional effects of that, who gets harmed, right? So Wall Street, as you, you point out, the system protects itself. I think what bothered so many people is that the large institutions and their prime brokerages were not subject to the trading restriction. Right. It wasn't that the SEC prohibited people from buying uh, GameStop, it was Robin Hood. And so, you know, this raises profound questions around what it means to protect retail investors, for, to, to give retail traders the same opportunities that Wall Street has. And, you know, well, we're not going to allow buying or so forth. It's just a picking and choosing winners and losers. And yeah. I think that, that that does have broad, as you point out, political implications. Um, and what it means is that we need to maybe think differently about systemic risk.